2009 Margaret Brent Award recipient, Linda Addison. Linda Addison lives every day as an example of the principles for which the Margaret Brent Women Lawyers of Achievement Award stands. She defied long odds to reach the pinnacle of her profession, and she is devoted to opening doors for women lawyers who follow her. Her impact extends from the American legal profession to local community needs and global mentoring. Linda's story begins in another time and place. After the Nazi invasion of Poland, her parents were forced to live in the Krakow ghetto and then went into hiding in Warsaw for two years. They were captured and imprisoned in separate concentration camps. Liberated in 1945 and reunited by the Red Cross, Linda's parents immigrated to America and eventually settled in Houston. Their experience cemented their strength and values, which they instilled in their children. When she started school, Polish was the only language she knew, and American culture was unknown to her parents. Linda's home life was austere, and by kindergarten it fell to Linda to bridge the cultural divide for her family. It is central to Linda's story that she never saw a challenge that was too daunting, and never harbored any doubt that she could succeed. The first woman managing editor of the Texas Law Review, Linda's goal was to become a trial lawyer. Many Texas firms told her this was not a career path for women. She chose Fulbright and Jaworski because the firm promised her this opportunity. Linda built her practice at a time when business clubs were closed to women and when clients openly questioned why they should trust women with significant matters. In her three decades of practice, Linda has tried over 50 cases to judgment as lead counsel and now represents some of America's biggest companies in their most important matters. Early in her career, she successfully challenged the constitutionality of Texas blue laws, opening the way to shopping on Sunday. A prolific writer, she is the author of over 100 legal articles and a leading evidence book. Linda was named one of the 50 most influential women lawyers in America and one of only 17 women among the 100 most influential lawyers in America by the National Law Journal and outstanding alumnus of the University of Texas School of Law. Recently, this woman who was once told that she had no place in the courtroom was named the number one go-to commercial litigator by the Texas lawyer. A leader in her firm, she works hard to ensure that opportunities exist for other women. Eight years ago, Linda became the first woman member of Fulbright's six-person executive committee and has shepherded the development of a modified work schedules program that enables women and men to remain on partnership track while balancing family and career. Earlier this year, Linda became head of Fulbright and Jaworski's 140-lawyer New York office. Linda is actively involved in several civic and charitable organizations and mentors in the U.S. State Department's International Women Leaders Mentoring Program. And several years ago, she spearheaded a small group of women to found a national center to benefit women lawyers. This year, the Center for Women in Law at the University of Texas became a reality. Linda's story starts with family, and her life remains grounded in family. Married to her law school sweetheart, Max Addison, they are the proud parents of the strong, smart, and bold Alexandra, who will be a sophomore at Yale this fall. Linda's family history could easily have led a child to sorrow and bitterness, and she faced challenges in her career that could readily have resulted in defeatism or resentment. Instead, Linda exudes joy in life, love for her family, professional dedication, and commitment to a better world. For these reasons and more, the ABA Commission on Women in the Profession is honored to present its 2009 Margaret Brent Women Lawyers of Achievement Award to Linda Addison.